Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban knife style and jungle survival. Last week, we hit 5,000 subscribers, and I'd like to thank all my subscribers, past, present, and future, for supporting the channel. In fact, I know there are many people who are watching this but have not subscribed. So please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to help the channel out. Thanks. To celebrate the small milestone of hitting 5,000 subscribers, I thought I'll do something a bit different. The first is to tell you three things you did not know about this channel. Next, I'll do a shout out to five other YouTube channels who are friends of the channel. And finally, I'll also acknowledge some of my favorite subscribers on the channel. Let's first talk about the three things you did not know about Urban Knife Guy. First, the videos you watch are filmed in two countries, Singapore and Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, both in Southeast Asia. And the reason is because I live in both countries and split my time between both cities. My indoor tabletop videos are filmed mainly in Singapore. Here are some behind the scenes shots of my studio set up in Singapore. It is a bit more involved with lights, a monitor, special table setup I designed from my previous career, and a full camera and mic setup. The tabletop setup in Malaysia is simpler, as I typically do not do as many tabletop videos, although maybe this might change in the upcoming months. I'm filming this video in Malaysia right now. When you watch my jungle videos, they're all filmed in Malaysia. This is mainly because Singapore doesn't really have much jungles to explore and all my jungle gear is in Malaysia. I've also built a small bushcraft base camp in the jungle near me. Now the second thing you did not know about Urban Knife Guy is that I typically film one month's worth of videos in a few days in Singapore. As I have to juggle my professional work schedule as well as planning my content for the channel, I film around 16 to 20 videos within 3 or 4 days each month. So generally, I do an intense filming and editing schedule of about 10 to 12 hours a day to complete all these videos. Of course, I also do ad hoc videos like this one or videos in the jungle when I'm in Malaysia. Finally, the third thing you did not know about Urban Knife Guy is that my planned order of videos to be published changes all the time. As mentioned, I film a month's worth of videos in a few days. That means I have to plan my videos in advance and need a rough idea of the order that will be published in the coming month. I have all my video ideas and key points written down in my notes in my phone and I actually plan videos three months in advance. So now that it is the end of August, I have videos planned all the way to November at this point. However, I'm always switching up the order of the videos week by week and sometimes day by day. The reason is because I'm always developing new ideas and making adjustments because certain content resonates with viewers. Sometimes, I also order knives and gear and expect them to come at a certain time, so plan my filming and videos around when I expect to receive them. However, sometimes the items come later or earlier than expected and this affects my video schedule. Many times I also look at the video analytics of my videos and channel and that can affect how I plan my content schedule as well. The point is, sometimes when a video goes live for public consumption, it could have been filmed months ago. And that was the case with my 6 month review of the Line Steel M3. I filmed the video after using the knife for about half a year. But by the time the video went live, it was 3 months later. And there you have it, 3 things that you did not know about Urban Knife Guy. At this point, I'd like to give a shout out to 5 friends who are also subscribers to the channel, but they also have their own channels. I do urge you to check them out and I've linked them in the description below. The first is Gadget Gus, who's one of my earliest subscribers and supporters. Based in the UK, he primarily presents enthusiastic and passionate videos on folding knives that include slip joints and Swiss Army knives. However, I suspect he has some form of selected amnesia, as every time he unboxes a Swiss Army knife, it's like he's seeing it for the very first time. I know for a fact he must have seen at least 50 knives. Next up is Glock Ninja 
who's also a very early subscriber and frequent commenter of this channel. I'm quite sure he's neither a handgun or trained Japanese assassin. He's a retired police detective and shares my interest in knives, EDC, and bushcraft. However, he has an unhealthy and probably inappropriate relationship with his Victorinox Swiss champ. The next channel is True Budget EDC and Prepping. True Budget. Ironically, the gentleman running the channel is named Rich. His videos share ideas on EDC gear, knives, and also invaluable info on first aid as he's a first responder and trained medic. He's also doing a great job supporting similar YouTube creators and helping build the knife and EDC community. The person who runs the fourth channel must live in a very dangerous area filled with zombies because it is called Surviving the Daily. His content is mainly on EDC and he reviews a wide range of EDC items. I'm convinced he has more EDC pouches than actual EDC items that are needed to fill them. The final channel I'd like to give a shout out to is Sussex EDC. From his channel name, it is obvious he lives somewhere in Eastern Africa or maybe in a small town in Kazakhstan, although he pretends to speak with a British accent. His is a relatively new channel, but he has been working hard putting out EDC content with interesting perspectives, which is a breath of fresh air. Please do check out all these channels and subscribe to them if you enjoy their content. Before I go, I'd also like to acknowledge a couple of my favorite subscribers who are always adding value to this channel by giving insightful comments and sharing ideas. A big thank you to Simon H, Rab Adabadu, George G, Sarah B. Bartlett, Dale Carr, L, David Jacobs, and Dan Cotty for your huge support and being active on the channel. If I missed anyone out, it simply means you're not commenting enough, or I genuinely missed you out. So please remind me in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.